they're gigantic. Those, are those conquered yes. grapes? Yes. They're huge. A snake. <laughs> it's looking very calm. Yeah, it's hoping you don't notice it. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so, all right. I'm not here to teach you about edible snakes. I actually don't know anything about that topic. So, let me talk to you about wild grapes. That's what we have behind me. And when I'm done talking to you about them, uh, I'll, I'll uh, leave some time if you want to try and pick some. Um, it's unusual to find wild, wild grapes of this particular species on the ground, uh, uh, on the vine, this late in the season. So um, we've got several different varieties of wild grapes that grow here in, um, in this area. And they're all edible. They just vary as to what they're good for. This particular species behind me is called the fox grape, otherwise known as the Concord grape, and uh, Vitus uh, labrusca, and it's the one with the larger grapes on it, like this. And uh, I'm usually harvesting these around the second week of September. This year it was earlier than that. Everything was early this year. And uh, the way I usually find wild grapes, I'm sorry for those of you that are squinting, I apologize for that. The way I usually find them is I'll be walking or riding my bike along and all of a sudden this grape smell would just hit me smack in the face and then I fall my nose to the vine and find these grapes and then stuff my face by the vine, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> so if you want to do something with these grapes, it's pretty easy. You just pick them, bring them home, throw them in a big pot, uh, and then put some water in where you can see the water between the grapes. You don't want the water the grapes bobbing around in the water, but you know, having so you can actually see the water between the grapes and the bottom. Simmer it for a while uh, and then mash it up real good, which you can do with a potato masher, your feet, or whatever. Then put it through a sieve or a strainer, a uh, food mill, whatever you have, and the seeds and the skins will be held back, and then the, the juice and the pulp goes through. So if you take what went through the sieve and you pour it into a tall cylindrical uh, pitcher, it will separate on you. And the top layer will be this delicious wild grape juice, which you can drink just plain. It's wonderful. And then the bottom layer is a puree. It's too thick to enjoy as a beverage, but that's the raw material you can use for making grape jam, grape jelly, grape, grape sorbet, grape chiffon pie, grape fruit leather, grape cheesecake, all those things. Okay? So that's the um, conquer grape or the fox grape. Then around the corner, we're going to see another species of grape called the Riverside grape. And that one has smaller grapes that are ripe later in the season. And those you can typically still find in early October. And they never get to be more than about 3 eighths of an inch in diameter. And they're kind of musky flavored. They're not particularly good raw. So um, you still can make uh, decent jam and jelly with them. It's just they're not good as just a table fruit or, or drinking the juice from them because they're kind of sour and, and musky flavored. But you can use either of the species, actually any grape leaf you can use for making stuffed grape leaves, the Mediterranean, Middle Eastern stuffed grape leaves. And obviously this time of year is not a good time to look for grape leaves because they're really beaten up and they're just about to fall off the plant and disintegrate completely. You want to get them earlier in the season, okay? So let's say you're interested in gathering grape leaves. You pay attention to where the grape vines are now. Remember where they are. The time you want to go back is in June. I had an Armenian fellow on one of my walks a few years back, and he said when his family goes to collect grape leaves, the last day they do it is Father's Day, because after Father's Day, the leaves become too tough and bitter to use. And then I had a Greek woman on one of my walks this year, and she said that for her family, it's 4th of July. So that gives you a general idea of you know when you should pick them. And so you want to pick leaves that are uh, young, yet fully grown. And then um, I find with the uh, other grape leaf, the, the riverside grape leaf, which is smooth and green in the underside, these grape leaves are finely woolly in the underside, usually a coppery color. And those are smooth and green, and they're very delicate. 
and the uh, riverside grape leaves need very little processing before you use them. So I would just blanch the leaves, drop them into boiling water for about 20 seconds, and that's enough just to soften them up. In the meantime, I've made the stuffing mix. Most cookbooks will have a recipe for this, so you can invent your own. It's usually some combination of rice and chopped up vegetables and uh, maybe some uh, nuts, ground up lamb, something like that. And you uh, put the lump of stuffing in the center of the leaf and fold the sides up, then you roll the whole thing up and you put it the fold it side down in your Pyrex baking dish or your steamer, however you're making them. And then uh, you cook them until they're done. And it's the kind of thing you could serve to company and they'd be very impressed when they find out that they're wild grape leaves you picked and stuffed yourself. Okay? Last thing I'll say about grape leaves is for those people that make pickles, I've heard that if you take a grape leaf, it doesn't matter what kind, and you put a leaf in each jar where you're putting your pickles in, those pickles will come out crisper because that grape leaf is in there. Okay? All right, so uh, any questions about wild grapes? Okay, so for those people that aren't agile enough to pick your own, I have some right here, so follow me if you can taste one of these. They're not gonna be quite as yummy as they would have been if we had found them at the a better time because it's the second week of September, but, but for those of you that can't, pick your own.